I'm Allison Bollinger, and I work as a spacewalk flight controller and trainer here at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. So my job is we actually get the astronauts ready to go to the International Space Station and perform all aspects of spacewalking. Thread the wire tie on the aft, bail aft side of the... And now we're focused on the International Space Station and maintaining it while it's serving out its mission. But meanwhile, folks in, within my organization and, and astronauts as well who have this spacewalking experience are thinking about how can we improve this spacesuit? How can we modify this spacesuit to make it more, you know, more suited for an, a mission on an asteroid or more suited for a mission uh, to Mars or to the moon? So we're constantly thinking about how can we modify our existing spacesuit. Then a majority of the training takes place in the Nutribuoyancy Lab. One of the largest indoor pools in the world. It's a roughly 200 feet by 100 feet and it's 40 feet deep. And we use this to simulate space. And that's how we train astronauts to perform spacewalks on the International Space Station. Because the space station is so so large, we can't fit the entire space station in the pool. We have to break the different components apart uh, to simulate the entire space station. This suit weighs about 175 pounds. So once the crew member gets inside the suit, they actually have a large crane that just will lift this whole stand up and they'll take it over the water and just lower it down into the water. We train them about the tools that they're going to use when they're out performing the spacewalk. They do a whole choreographed spacewalk where they learn about the different components of the space station and how they can fix them. The next part of my job is to actually be in mission control and to help choreograph the spacewalk, especially when things go wrong. We're considered the experts and we can help tell the astronauts how to fix the situation. Okay, the next thing we're gonna have you guys do is get inside the airlock and then work on hooking up your safety tether and egress. The wall is lined with, um, we call them the big boards, and you've got uh, big video monitors where you're watching either what the crew is doing or what the crew is seeing, and you've got all the data displayed in front of you, and then you've got computer monitors in front of you where you've got pulled up all the different, we call them the parameters of the spacesuit. So you're, the spacesuit is constantly downlinking data to the Earth. The first time I sat in the front room by myself was the STS-134 mission, which was the final flight of Space Shuttle Endeavour in May of 2011. You sit down and initially it's completely overwhelming because you're realizing like, wow, you know, I'm finally here after all these years. I'm finally here, you know, doing my dream job. So it was, it was pretty cool. I was able to go to space camp in sixth grade at the Kennedy Space Center and you were able to meet a bunch of kids from around the country that were all very passionate about space. We did some different training exercises and it's what I'm actually doing now. You know, it's how I'm actually training astronauts now. So it's neat to think back that I was able to experience it, you know, as a child. And for me personally, I found out that training the astronauts is the best of both worlds because you still get a lot of the same experiences that the astronauts get, but you don't actually have to strap yourself into a rocket and launch into space to do it. The really neat thing is occasionally when they're out actually doing a spacewalk, they'll, they'll mention your name or they'll say, you know, I want to say hi to Houston and specifically, you know, our EVA team. And it's always really fun to get a shout out from space. I definitely feel like they're, they're, I'm with them every step of the way outside. And one of my personal favorite sayings, and it's actually on the back of this charm, is it says, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll be among the stars. I had confidence in myself that I could eventually achieve my goals, but I'm still just blown away when I'm sitting in a mission control and watching crew members that I trained actually perform spacewalks. I'm doing the job that I absolutely love.